He is willing, he is ready, and is he able? Let's talk about it. It's Sports Keto Wrestling. Chad Gable, is he WWE's next main event superstar? This is exactly what many fans are starting to see in Gable's recent defeats at the hand of the now record-breaking WWE Intercontinental Champion Gunther on Raw in their third match. He had a chance to stop Gunther from beating the Honky Tonk Man's record of 454 days as the longest reigning IC champion of all time, but came up a little bit short. Though he did fall short, he came out a bigger star because of this series of matches, each one of them in the past few weeks, making it seem like Gable was more than something you should be looking over. And you gotta give props to Gunther along the way, whose history of being such a dominant big man in modern WWE is absolutely incredible. Him showing some vulnerability while still being unbeatable made the story of Gable thriving to get that IC championship and stop the record from being broken was something that really just willed you into the story. It wasn't even something featured on recent events like Payback. This was just on TV and it made you want to keep tuning in. But when you look at the trilogy of bouts he had with Chad Gable, it really feels like the American Alpha leader came out the bigger star. Yeah, Gunther may have broken a record, and Gunther will still be one of the top guys in WWE moving forward, but in the process, Chad Gable is now a much bigger superstar. It's another example of how in sports entertainment and pro wrestling, you don't always need to get the W to be the winner in the hearts of fans. It wasn't just the moves. Those are always going to be there with Gable. We know he can go. It was the story he told between these three different title matches. One with him getting dominated by Gunther, the second with him outsmarting the champion for a count-out victory that doesn't get him the title, and the third with him being dominated by the bigger man, falling short but still winning all of our hearts. Chad Gable is the complete package of what you want in a pro wrestler. But this isn't anything new. Going back nearly a decade to 2015, when he was getting his start in WWE NXT, the developmental camp at the time, with Jason Jordan as a part of the American Alphas. The two quickly became NXT's most popular tag team and one of the best tag teams in all of wrestling at the time. And this was with Gable having only two years of pro wrestling experience and Jordan having only four. And of course, there's the comparisons to Kurt Angle, one of the all-time greats in WWE, a Hall of Famer who made the transition from legitimate sports to sports entertainment, and of course is, like Gable, a former Olympic wrestler for the United States who won the gold medal with a broken frickin' neck in 1996. Gable represented the United States at the Olympic Games in 2012 in London. But the truth is, that's kind of an unfair comparison. Even Engel himself has said that, because in hindsight, another gold medal level wrestler from the United States Olympic team made the jump to WWE with Gable Steveson. And he really hasn't panned out just yet. He's had maybe, what, one or two televised matches? Chad Gable might just be the closest thing WWE has to Kurt Angle because he's been on TV for such a long time and has developed an ability to perform frame to camera and be charismatic. Oh yeah, and show off all of his phenomenal athletic skills. Unlike Angle though, Gable's had to work a lot longer to get to where he is. Kurt Angle was almost an immediate hit when he hit WWE television. Counting his time in NXT, Chad Gable has been in WWE longer than even Kurt Angle was. Those comparisons aside, there is a lot of years of work to make the case for Gable as a main event star for WWE. Both he and Jason Jordan fell victim to being lost in the old WWE shuffle as the American Alpha team did have some initial success when they made the jump from WWE NXT to SmackDown and became SmackDown Tag Team Champions. But it seemed clear they just got lost in the shuffle, and maybe Jason Jordan was seen as the real breakout member of the team when he was featured as a single star and was given the chosen role of being the son of Kurt Angle. Instead, while pairing Gable with Shelton Benjamin to kind of continue the whole legitimate Olympic wrestlers who are now a tag team thing. Gable's run as a tag team specialist, whether it was teaming with Benjamin or Robert Roode, wasn't necessarily the best, but you always knew you were getting a great performance out of him with bell-to-bell -bell action. He still got a lot of experience working alongside respected veterans, something that undeniably helped him up his game. 
But then Chad Gable got to have an opportunity as an up and coming babyface superstar the fans could get behind. And WWE's idea for this was renaming him Shorty G, you know, cause he's short. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, it wasn't the best idea, but he ran with it and ran with it into the dark days of the pandemic when we were in the WWE Thunderdome, a match where he was so beaten down by Lars Sullivan on SmackDown that he just said he quit. I quit. During a post-match interview. And then even further said he was done with the entire idea of being a smiling, you can do it, baby face guy. And that there was only one man who could achieve everything he set his mind to. An Olympian. Yeah, he was back to being Chad Gable. According to WrestlingNews.co, WWE's boss, Vince McMahon, thought making him Shorty G would get him over comedically and helping him tap into his funnier side. The same type of thing that happened for Kurt Angle. Yeah, we're still trying to make those comparisons, right? He probably didn't realize that it takes a lot more than a silly name to get someone over, and thankfully, that only lasted a year before, you know, we had him saying, I'm done with this whole Shorty G thing. I quit being Shorty G. The Alpha Academy was then established and has been one of the most interesting runs of his career so far. Chad Gable kind of taking on the idea of being a life coach. And he took the big Otis underneath his wing. The big man needed to be refocused after a not so successful run with the money in the bank briefcase. And the focus is very clearly on Chad Gable and Otis as his sidekick. The WWE slowly acknowledging his skill and mastery in the ring and Chad Gable playing WWE's resident Mr. Know-It-All with Otis at his side became a really strong mid-card act, even developing its own catchphrase with Gable telling the WWE fanbase to shush and thank you. Yes, silly things that somehow just catch on and become a life of their own on WWE television. Yes, he had a catchphrase. You're a hit when you have a catchphrase on WWE television. And the Alpha Academy continued to be a very strong tag team, defeating RK Bro for the WWE Raw Tag Team titles. Right now, Chad Gable might just be WWE's most underrated superstar, but that seems to be quickly shifting. The reactions he's been getting have been louder and louder every week, and people are quickly realizing what an incredible talent he really is. WWE is far from realizing the potential they have with Gable, but thankfully for him, it's a different time where being, uh, you know, not the biggest guy isn't that much of a handicap as it used to be. Yeah, Chad Gable has some of that magic we saw in Daniel Bryan, and maybe we could see it again. Hey, we're allowed to dream here. Even if he doesn't, he has proven now that he is the real deal. There aren't too many wrestlers in WWE that have the all-around legitimate athletic skills while also being as charismatic as he's grown to become. And the reactions he keeps getting, that's magic. The merchandise keeps selling. Who knows what could happen? But until all of that happens, we have one message to anyone listening in WWE. Imagine the possibilities. With his personality and obviously his in-ring talents, imagine the matches that Chad Gable could have with a Seth Rollins, a Shinsuke Nakamura. Imagine the title matches he could have that are beyond just Gunther. There's a lot more to see with him that we haven't seen yet. Push Chad Gable. Push him now, and let's see this thing play out. Let us know if you disagree or agree with us in the comments below. Also, check out some of our other cool videos here at Sports Keto Wrestling.